Well, I need to fit the rear apron, fenders, and deck lid so that I can get my exhaust to fit correctly. Holds and everything in place. I've gone ahead and kind of doing some more work back here. See my uh, panel over there? Sheet metal comes up and over. Raises this edge above the frame. You can see it right here, too. Anyway, I've been playing around with my rear fenders and I'm trying to get everything to line up because I want to go ahead and mock up the rear end here so that I can get my exhaust in place and get my engine kind of finalized. Right now, the exhaust pipe is not done until I get this rear apron piece on. So I'm here cleaning it up, cleaning the edges, trying to get it ready to uh, spot weld that panel on with this Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight spot welder and see if it works. I've been out here pushing and pulling and beating the sheet metal around. See, I've got it pretty straight. Everything's pretty good. Apron is on. Apron is completely welded on. Everything's pretty straight. Not perfect, but I can hammer it a little bit here and there when I move forward. But anyway, I've got both these fenders uh, bolted on, snug down pretty good. As good of a seam as I can get here to the body. There's no. There's nothing. They're bolted directly up to the body right now. And I've gone ahead and run this little piece of half-inch masking tape all right along the edge here. That's where I'm going to cut it. Right here, it's flat. The best, the best place to, that I can see to flare this fender is up real close here so that I just come straight off of this edge out to where the fender is because this is the flattest part of the curve all the way around. It's right up here close to the body. So once I cut that off, I'll be able to uh, actually shape this a little better, make it fit nice, and then I'm going to put some shims in it to take up the area for the, the rubber weather stripping. But I'm going to get this little, beat this little edge into position really nicely, and then I'm going to hang this fender off of it with some little pieces of metal just kind of extend it off. So I'm getting ready to cut these uh, fenders off, and then I will uh, keep going. Okay, now I've got my uh, my exhaust tube. I've gone ahead and marked and drilled these holes. So I drilled a hole through these tubes, so these the little exhaust tips could fit in there. Got it lined up pretty well. I'm gonna put it back in, line it up one more time. I had to cut it about three or four times here. See, it just kind of pokes through about a quarter of an inch on both of them. So I'm going to put this back in here, line it up, make sure it fits one more time. Then I'm going to put a couple tacks on the, everything and get ready to get it finished welded. Back from the, uh, the welder. Look pretty good. Under here, I got the cap on it right there. And up in here, there's the O2 sensor back in place, all finished welded and clamped on.